We have a division problem between two polynomials here. In order to do this division, I'd like to do long division of polynomials. Um, before we do that, let's just recall how to do long division with uh, numbers. If we had this division problem here, we want to take 12 into 374. The first thing we do was we just looked at part of the 374, just looked at the 37, said how many times does 12 go into 37? Since we know that 3 times 12 is 36, we say, oh, I can get 12 into 37 three times. We write down our 3, we did a product here, wrote down our answer, and then we subtract 36 from 37, left us with 1. Now we go ahead and bring our 4 down, right? And then we ask again, how many times does 12 go into this number now? How many times does 12 go into 14? And we say 1. And then we took our multiply 1 times 12, get 12. And then we subtract, and we're left with a 2. And then sometimes, <clears throat> back when we first learned long division, we called this a remainder of 2, or sometimes we put a capital R2 here. We don't want to do that. What we would rather do is just add the extra bits that we couldn't divide. So we're going to add 2. So we haven't divided by 12 yet, so I'm going to add 2 divided by 12 up here. Of course, we could reduce that right at as 1 sixth. But this is the way that we do our long division. We're going to do the same thing with these polynomials. So to do this long division, just like we did over here, I'm going to ignore part of this. I'm just going to look at the highest powers of x, just like over here. I just looked at the largest part of the number, in this case the hundreds and the tens place. Here I'm just going to look at the x cubes. I'm going to just look over here at the 2x's, and I'm going to say, how many times does 2x go into 6x cubed? Or what do I have to multiply 2x by to get equal to 6x cubed? And I say, oh, 3 times x squared. If I multiply that by 2x, 3 times 2 is 6, x squared times x is x cubed. So that's what I have to multiply 2x by to get exactly that. Now, just like I did here, I want to multiply this by the whole thing. Right here, I just multiply by 2x, so I'm going to also multiply 3x squared by minus 1. All right, oops, 3, don't forget that. And now, just like over here, I'm going to subtract. So I'll subtract by changing signs on things and adding. Subtract, I get a 0 there. x squared plus 3x squared, that's a 4x squared. Like I did over here with the 4, I'm going to do over here with the 1. I'm going to bring that one down. All right, and now I'm going to ask again, what do I have to multiply this by, the 2x, to equal 4x squared? I say, oh, well, 2 times 2 is 4, x times x is x squared. So, oops, didn't mean to have a, sorry there. So 2x times 2x is equal to 4x squared. 2x times minus 1 is equal to negative 2x. Let's subtract by changing signs on things and adding. Those things add to 0. 2x plus 1 is 2x plus 1. And then I can say, how many times does 2x go into 2x? Oh, those are equal. It goes in one time. Or, what do I have to multiply 2x by to equal 2x? Just 1. So 2x, 1 times minus 1 is negative 1. Now I'm going to change signs and add. All right, I ran out of space here, but we go to 0 plus 2. So we have a leftover of 2, which is the same leftover we had there. So just like before, I want to take an add to this 2 divided by the stuff that I haven't done yet, 2x minus 1, right? Just like we did here. Took our what was left over and did the division. What was left over, 2. Did the division, we add that in. So our final answer is this 3x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus those leftover bits, 2 over 2x minus 1.